class that doesn't want to tie their shoelaces as the detonator to blow the country sky high, Max. They, they've disenfranchised tens of millions, if not 100 million people in America who are... It was very interesting when this attack went down. Remember what the police and the bullhorn was saying? We are not upsetting your right to assemble. As they attacked. Well, as they were screaming. And this is very important to me because I've always said that the surveillance state would justify it. They say, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. I've always said that the, the problem is not privacy and whether I'm hiding anything or not. What I want and cherish in this country is the right to assemble. The right to plan a counterattack, you know, if their tyrants take over the White House. No, that's it. And, and these so are technologies they, used to bring in the ultimate tyranny. They always do. They don't want assembly. They don't want people coming together to plan some kind of reaction to what is obviously a takeover by a police state. Uh, and this is, it was amazing to me that when the police got on the, the truck and with the bullhorn said, we are not disturbing your right to assemble, which is, of course, incredible. No, no, Max, you understand the final piece of the equation. They plan on us being us against them in a war with the police. We've got to stop the civil war, let them know it's part of a larger trap, and try to educate them instead of playing into what the globalists want. I mean, it's about financial sovereignty and financial independence, as we've been saying on your show for years. Look at how the police it have been joining in Italy and, and Spain and Greece have been joining the protesters. Well, you have cops on your show often. How is that going? Are the cops, in your opinion, based on who you, you have conversations, are the police in this country more... Um, aware of, of, of the dynamic. They are more aware than the general public. That's that's why this is such a paradox, is that they're a great hope, they're also a great problem. Yeah. That's yeah. why there's a tug of war between the, the globalist and the people to, to get the police to be good. Well, in uh, Spain, I think also, or in, well, in Spain and then in Ukraine, of course, people are defecting. The military is defecting to Russia. So the more you have the, the orders come down from Kiev to take a stand against Russia, the more the military is defecting. And over there in the Russian border, they've got thousands of passports. They're just handing them out like candy. Like, hey, come on over. This is, water's great over here. Come on, welcome. So it's, it's, it's an incredible example of how stupid America's foreign policy is. They're provoking Russia into... Nobody likes a bully. That's why Israel was liked at first, because Israel was being attacked when like seven nations would gang up on them. But then when it's a little kid throwing rocks at a tank and he gets shot, or an Israeli bulldozer running over someone, that's wrong. And then you talk about it and the Israel lobby attacks you. Israel is a, is a victim also in that they've lost the moral high ground, the, the, any pretense at a moral high ground that they may have had up until this recent Gaza incursion. And now their brand, if you will, of Israel has been shattered irreparably. And uh, the same thing for uh, America around the country, around the world. We, on this show, we've talked about it because I do reports all over the world. And the idea of America as a beacon of hope and, and freedom has now been completely shattered with the... Uh, with yeah, we're losing the moral high ground. And we need to stop that. Uh, we're going to skip this network break. Go to the bottom of the hour, Max Kaiser. Uh, Lance in North Carolina, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex. Hey, uh, hey, Max. Thanks, thanks, you guys, for what you're doing here. You're, you're true patriots. I really appreciate it. I'm also glad that you're able to have some fun today because of all the bull garbage we got to put up with all the time. It's nice to hear you guys, Max. You're in the most uh, secure uh, room in Texas, brother, I assure you. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what I want to uh, talk to is to the people that are listening to my voice right now on this radio broadcast. We have got to do something today. This is so far past due for all of us to realize what these people are doing to all of us. It's not just some of us. It's all of us. We have got to get together and get the people around us to see what they have done. There was an outstanding documentary called State of Mind. And Alex, you'll have to give them the more information so the listeners know where to go search for this. But if the second that you can identify their scheme and their procedure in making us believe and buy into their plan, that instant you are free from that. And we need to spread that across the entire world. This is not a Texas thing, a North Carolina thing, a New York thing, a California thing, a U.S. thing. This is worldwide, worldwide. We cannot stress this enough, people. Today is Friday. You know, Friday nights and Saturday nights, we get together with our family families and our friends and we talk about things we Let's have ourselves blue Let's take these issues to our people tonight people because we have got to do that's this. right we've we got to stop I mean guys I see guys all the time 
who I don't know on the street or at a restaurant or wherever, just blabbering, trying to show off to each other about sports and statistics. They're supposed to be showing off about the economy and the world and how they know factoids. They've replaced it all with mindless information. That's one reason people are so dumbed down. Thank you, Lance. It's part of the Gulag Casino meets the smoke and mirrors bread and circuses. What the caller said, which I keyed in on there, was that it's a global problem and that if you can't find people in your local community to rally around this, these points, seek people out in other countries and other communities. You know, during when, when, when Greece and Athens w was collapsing, I suggested that the Occupy Wall Street movement should open up a branch in Athens because they had common cause. But nobody in Occupy Wall Street did this and they argued to me that no no our our points are the most important points their points are not as important as our points so ego played a role classic in little socialist committees sitting around like debating the finer points we of saw it happen lenin's toenails we saw it right there whereas as an economist i'm saying the economies of scale suggest that if all of these groups were to band together and use their combined global economic power they could overturn the power in in ways that they would would uh, they, they they're talking about that they want to do but they just have to break out of their little silos their little egocentric groups as you're calling them and get into a global basis reach out to the global audience the global group out there well that's what infowars is about it's just talking about historical facts and liberty versus tyranny getting rid of all the terms we use all the terms to communicate with new listeners but uh, you're absolutely right, Max. Thank you so much, caller. Chris in North Carolina, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Um, I just want to tell you about a TV show that came on, I think it was Wednesday night, on um, uh, TNT called Legends. Uh, it was the pilot episode, and um, they were looking for a guy called the Founding Father, and they said he's the most dangerous domestic terrorist in the country. <laughs> yeah, every major cop show I've seen, the terrorists are patriots, and this is the total brainwashing. This is what Homeland Security and the tanks are for. And so they're smart. Where do we use the tanks first? Oh, use them on black folks. The bubbles will go for it. And then uh, the president gets set. I agree. I put the clip on my YouTube channel. I was wondering if I could give up my... Yeah, we'd like to see that. Maybe do a story about it. Another example of demonizing the liberty movement. Yeah, it's a CAN newsroom. Like a can of soup. CAN newsroom. And I just want to thank... Max for standing up to the um, Zionist over at BBC. All right, now let's expand on something here. The best way to plug your YouTube video is to give the name of it. What is the name of the video? The name of the video is Legends TV Series Premiere Dash Domestic Terrorism Scripting. All right. Yeah, it's a new TV show. I saw a billboard. It's a new show. So the, I guess what the, in the in the plot of the show they've identified the the bad guy as a patriot, a founding father type. So which is a part and parcel of what we've. Oh, seen. we know who the bad guys are, George Washington. Right. So that's another example of that. Is what I'm, well, I think uh, this is going to backfire on them, and it already is. Uh, but remember that, folks. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, you know, let me jump in here for a second because this also puts a lie to this idea that Hollywood is liberal. That's false. Hollywood is not liberal. Hollywood is cranking out this stuff, and it's right wing trash. And they oh, see, are, you're still you're just projecting that on the term right wing. Oh, they aren't liberals. Is the issue they're authoritarians? It has nothing to do not, with the term left not, or right. They're not the build as the progressives that people think. Oh, Hollywood, they're progressive. They're into uh, some. They're not. They're they're hardcore reactionaries in Hollywood. And they put out shows like Legends and these other shows. No, the new video games you shoot tea partiers. Right. We just showed okay. an article about that. Games Con shoot racist tea partiers in Battlefield Hardline. I mean, this is in every TV show and movie I see now that. I like guns. That's why I'm going to murder everyone. Or I love the founding fathers. That's why I'm going to nerve gas New York. You know, it, it is just that they are getting ready to blow stuff up, Max, and blame on the liberty movement. That's their answer. Uh, I agree. I, that's why there's an interesting dynamic at play here because there's very little room left to, to, to go for, for sanction, for, for sanctuary. I mean, here you are in Austin, Texas with this show, and you are kind of like holding down the fort. I mean, where do you go from here? There's very few places to go because more and more of the population, more and more of the country is being converted to this extremism that's anti-freedom. It's an anti-freedom extremism because this is what the government is saying we need to do to protect ourselves against the quote unquote terrorists and this is setting these people don't like the nsa spying on them wait i thought you weren't doing that these people want freedom they're terrorists they like the founders 
I mean, they indict themselves with those bizarre statements. But they, since they own the media, there's very little, there's no debate. No, they there's just, no exactly, they say two plus two equals five. And you repeat it often and often and often enough, as the propagandists of the, uh, you know, Germany said in the 1930s. You repeat the lie often enough, and people believe it. That was Joseph Goebbels, yep. Uh, Steve in Iowa, you're on the air with Max Kaiser. Hi, Alex. Um, just want to thank you for waking me up. Um, uh, my topic is kind of off topic, I guess. Um, uh, my son uh, is going to school this fall, and they're requiring a vaccine for him to go to school. And It's all a lie. You know, there is no law. There's a waiver they have to give you by law. Yeah, and I, I found that waiver online. So then I went to my family doctor. And he's pro vaccine, so I can't get him to sign it. Let's go to you just so. just search engine uh, doctors that don't vaccinate or doctors that do vaccine exemptions, and you'll you'll find a hundred of them in your area. Okay. Um, then I got another topic here. Go ahead. Um, about a year about a year ago, um, behind my house, there's a bike trail that runs through um, our city, and I noticed there was a kind of I think he might have been the National Guard guy. But he was in full combat gear, and he's walking down the, you know, the bike trail. It looked like he was measuring something, but I, I just found it kind of strange. You know, here the guy was in full combat gear, you know, walking down the bike trail. Yeah, they've got military conditioning the public for full occupation, out doing all sorts of regular government jobs now to acclimate them, the police, and the public for full occupation during the collapse. And they'll say... They're helping with the collapse, and of course the military will be helping, but no one will point out it was all engineered and staged. Well, once again, you're not supposed to have the military on domestic shores as part of the... Uh, yeah, and I would warn people that was coming, and they'd say, no, you're insane, it doesn't exist, you're a terrorist. Now it's, yes, we're using 1984 as a playbook, and you're a terrorist if you don't accept it. I want to get to a Bitcoin question, but tell folks about some of the new projects you're launching uh, and some of the new websites, Max. Right, so start join... Dot com is a crowdfunding website I started in London. And we also started our own cryptocurrency called Startcoin, which is similar to Bitcoin, except that we have it in-house to give away. So people who have a project, like there's a project right now called uh, Sean Hannity is an idiot billboards. Okay, regardless of what you think of the project, it, it is trending on the site and people are putting money into the site. They need $7,000 in total to start putting a billboard up in LA and New York with Sean Hannity's face that says Sean Hannity's an idiot. Now, because it's trending on the site, just this past week, we were able to get, give it away 500 bucks to the project because we've got millions of Startcoin on our own balance sheet to give away to projects that people are, people are voting that they like. So not only are people crowdfunding by putting in a buck or five bucks, we track which projects are being voted up and then we give more money from the coins that we ourselves have that we created called Start Coin. And it's, it marries this crowdfunding site called Start Join. And it creates a new economic reality. As you know, going back 15 years, I've been involved in creating new technologies and new financial platforms for 15 years. And this is my latest creation. After my last uh, company, Hollywood Stock Exchange, got blown out, blown away at 9-11. You know, I haven't done a lot of work in this, in this area for a while. This is now my next big idea. Very exciting. MaxKaiser.com has links to all of it. Real fast. Kurt and Oregon, only got a minute and a half left. What is your Bitcoin doubt? And then uh, Max can comment on that. Thanks for your dialogue, guys. Uh, a couple of years ago, I read Wikipedia all about Bitcoin. It took me all day. I'm a computer guy, but not a math guy and not an economist. The founder, who no longer works on it, uh, said this should never be used as a currency and it is open source, but I'm wondering who audits the open source because we would want to know what the algorithm is, and you'd need a very sophisticated uh, mathematician, honestly, to, to look into it. Also, I'd like to know full disclosure uh, from Max on Bitcoin. Well, okay, so uh, on the first, the first question first. So uh, talking about Bitcoin, should it be used as a currency or should it not be used as a currency? It's not designed as a currency. It's designed as a way to have an open ledger, open uh, sourced uh, way to transfer value from around the network with, with uh, charging any money. Uh, Tell you what, I'm going to ask you, sir, you'll have to watch. It can be used. We're out of time. 
we have to end it now. We have to go to not. That's it. I'm taking over. No, no, no. I got the guns. We're not out of time. Sir, tune in. Keep going. Tune in tonight. He'll answer the question on the nightly news, 7 o'clock <laughs> Central. We'll bring up the Bitcoin question. We'll repeat his question. Then we can re-air it Sunday so the radio audience can hear it at 4 to 6 p.m. Great job, crew. We're on the march.